Jason J. Rock Houston, and you're watching episode two. Um, and today, once again, this is part three. We're talking about the Dead Daisies latest album, Best Of. Now, last time we talked all about um, disc one, because this is, as I was telling y'all, this is a great two CD uh, set collection. Okay. Yeah, isn't that great? Now, we talked about uh, disc one last time, so I thought today, let's talk all about disc number two here. And um, again, I just love the artwork, but um, you know, okay, uh, this too kicks off with uh, one of my all time favorite anthems, Make Some Noise. That has always been one of my favorite tracks by the Dead Daisies. So like I said, it's a great anthem. It's uh, very much in the spirit of something like uh, rock and roll all night and party every day. So I got that great um, attitude to get the crowd up on their feet. Um, of course, that's another John Karabi era uh, song. So, um, uh, Anybody's a big fan of John Karabi, you know, like that. And then we also get two more Karabi songs on disc two, Resurrected and Rise Up. Um, also, two great uh, tracks. Um, that, those two come off of the Burn It Up album, which uh, was the final um, album with John Karabi before he returned to the band recently. So um, disc two also highlights a lot of the um, like Lynn Hughes era of the band, you know. So um, you're going to want to check that out. And, um, you know, you get um, Holy Ground, that is the title track off of um, the very first uh, Dead Daisies album to feature Flynn Hughes, um, title track. And, you know, of course, that album took a little longer to get released um, than was originally planned. And that's because a uh, large part uh, due to COVID hitting and um, all the lockdowns and stuff. And so they held off on releasing the album for a whole year. And, and I remember um, just as each track was... Um, at least just loving each track. I mean, we got to a point where it, practically every song was released as a single. And I urge people to go on YouTube and check out the videos. I mean, um, there was a video for almost every track off that album. Um, you, you had a video for um, Unspoken, which is also on this album, um, um, Bustle and Flow. Now, the, the Glenn Hughes era stuff, um, that is probably my favorite track that is featured on the new um, Best Of album here. Um, Bustle and Flow, it kind of an old kind of deep purple meets Sabbathy kind of vibe. Um, it, it's great for um, if you're a fan of that stuff. And, and Glenn Hughes, let me tell you, uh, on all the stuff he does with the Dead Daisies, I mean, he reaches all those high notes that uh, he is known for reaching. Um, you know, great singer. Um, I remember when it was first announced that uh, John Crabbe was leaving the band. I was like, oh my God. Um, man, they've had all the success with John Crabbe. Who the hell can possibly replace? Uh, John Crowley, but I tell you, the Dead Davies has been one of those bands throughout their history that um, always surprises me with the fact that not only do they have um, great musicians that have been in the band over years, but um, I mean, they they, found, they got Glenn Hughes, and Glenn Hughes is nothing like John Karabi, except that they're both very great singers in their own right, and I think that's why they were able to kind of um, carry on with Glenn Hughes. I mean, uh, Glenn Hughes has been a legendary singer since his days back uh with Deep Purple. So um, so again, um, Bustle and Flow, that's a great track. Um, you know, and, and I have to tell you, if, um, I had to hand pick like my favorite album that Glenn Hughes did with the Dead Davies, probably Holy Ground. I, I've loved every album the band has ever put out, but I think Holy Ground was really kind of a solid record. Everything on there was um, uh, just solid, solid classic rock. I mean, um, you, you know, um, you know, and this this album again is released because um, the band wanted to celebrate their uh, first ten years together, their first decade, and what a celebration it is. Um, you know, and, and I think um, again when I bought this album, I'm not disappointed by anything because I'm like, I'm not just getting one CD uh, and they're calling it a best of. I'm getting uh, I'm getting two CDs in one collection, so I felt like I got my money's worth. You know, so. Um, I was not disappointed by this release. Um, yeah, I, I would say there are a few tracks that I wish were on here. But again, I understand we're getting two CDs. You can only fit so much music on um, a CD. I really wish they would have included um, 30 Days in a Hole, a uh, great couple, uh, cover of a, a classic Humble Pie tune. Um, from what I understand, Glenn Hughes um, chose that song because he was he was friends. He personally knew Steve Marriott. And uh, so 
so they chose to cover that song. And um, like many of you, it was the first thing I ever heard um, of the Dead Daisies with the new singer, uh, Glenn Hughes. And, and I, I just, I was a fan of that lineup of the band ever since. Um, it's not on here. And I, I think also the Dead Daisies throughout their career, they've been, been known for um, doing a lot of great cover tunes, but I think also in putting out a release like this, maybe that's another reason you don't include a song like 30 Days in the Hole. Not, not that it wasn't a great track, a great popular track, but I think maybe, just maybe, it's not, okay, we want to celebrate our first 10 years together, you know, and um, so we want to cover most of our original material. And so um, also what we're going to say for next time is um, what also makes this a great um, package is you get two previously unreleased um, tracks from the Radiance uh, recording sessions to feature Glenn Hughes. And we're going to save uh, that to talk about in the next episode because, again, I think it, it's just, um, it deserves to be talked about. The tunes, uh, it's a little something they threw extra for the fans to check out. And, and I always dig, dig stuff like this. And, and there, it's not like any throwaway tracks. It's, the songs are very, um, very strong tracks. And, and I only question why they did not include these two tracks on Radiance. And maybe, again, it's just a, a, one of those facts such as, you know, you can only get 80, worth, 80 minutes worth of music on a CD. So um, again, I'm glad that they included those uh, previously unreleased tracks here because they're giving the fans a little something extra. Now, um, as far as um, as far as the Glenn Hughes stuff, I would say my um, my favorite tracks on here uh, from that part of the band would be um, Bustle and Flow, number one um, uh, favorite uh, uh, song from the Glenn Hughes era. Um, I, every time I hear that song, I just um, I just start singing it, man. It just puts me in such a um, great mood, just just a great rock and vibe, and very much um, unspoken, which um, probably has a lot to do with Glenn Hughes. It's got that classic kind of um, deep purple nineteen uh, seventies uh, sound, and so again, you know, Glenn Glenn um, Hughes is no longer a band, a huge part because um, he's out there celebrating um, fifty years uh, of um, 50 years ago when he first joined Deep Purple. He, um, he's going out there and playing all those great uh, Deep Purple tunes that he was a part of. So um, you know, the Dead Daisy is one of those bands. They run a very much like a business when, um, since Glenn Hughes wanted to go out to do that, they, they decided, well, we can't wait around for you know Glenn to go celebrate um, joining Deep Purple 50 years ago. Um, we're going to see if John Karabi wants to come back. And so Karabi was welcome back in the band, thank God. Um, so again, I'm urging you all to go check out the latest um, release from the Dead Daisies which is um, the best of, a, a great collection of uh, greatest hits tunes. And plus you get two new tunes that we're going to talk about next time. Go out and buy this. You will not be disappointed. Bye for now. Take care.